Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a combination rant and review of a 60 frames per second 4K native resolution action cam by a company called Kuau. So I'm going to start with a real abbreviated version of the review. Um, I started this all off when I was going to do an unboxing of this. It was uh, $80 on Amazon, included all the usual action cam accessories, built itself as native 4K resolution with 60 frames per second, electronic image stabilization, and it had an external microphone included with it. And I was like, wow, that's a really good deal. Um, but it's not out of the range of possibility because action cams have been dropping in price uh, pretty steadily over the last two years. And you're starting to see more and more 4K ones show up. And you're starting to see them show up with external microphones. So I thought, well, it's normally 100 bucks, and they knock 20 bucks off the price. And you have 30 days to try it out, you know, because I have Amazon Prime. So not a whole lot of risk there other than potentially a waste of time. Well, I'm going to cut to the chase. It was an absolute piece of junk. There was no way that the video resolution was anywhere close to 4K. Most likely it was upsampled 1080p. The electronic image stabilization was next to useless on it. In fact, it added a lot of jitter to the video. And I'll show these later because when I originally cut this video, I you know went through the whole unboxing process, you know, and brought all the accessories out and stuff like that. But after I took the footage, I just decided it wasn't worth your time even messing around with it. So we just get this out of the way from the very beginning. The camera is a piece of crap. All right. So next we're going to talk, and this is the rant part, about fake reviews on Amazon. And of course, everybody knows that a lot of companies pay to have their products reviewed. And, you know, you, you go through the reviews as best you can and you try to see, well, is this really a legit review or is it something else or is it does it sound like it's been paid for? And in this particular case, the reviews didn't sound like they'd been paid for so much as they sounded a little bit overly enthusiastic. But all of them were verified purchases. So, you know, then the next level down that you have to do is you have to go through and look at the negative reviews, the ones and the twos. And you start reading those and you see, well, did somebody complain about the resolution or did they complain about the frames per second or something? And in this particular case, I couldn't find much. What I, you know, basically found was a whole lot of five star, four star, four and a half star type reviews saying this was a great camera and ooh, I use this for my daughter's, you know, uh, graduation. Oh, we took it out birding, you know, and set it up in the forest, you know, that kind of stuff. So when I actually got the camera and I took it outside and took footage of it and then ran it back through uh, Premiere Pro, I was just absolutely astounded that anybody in his right mind could assume that this camera was capable of doing 4K let alone electronic image stabilization because it was so bad that it would just have been painfully obvious to anybody that this was not a 4K camera. All right, so I left a video review on YouTube and I put up a review on Amazon and I gave the camera basically one star on Amazon. And of course, I kind of shared my feelings about it on YouTube, but I was a little bit windy in actually getting to the point about how bad the camera was. So in this particular case, what I, after I posted both of those, I got about, eh, say about four or five days later, I got an email from the folks at Kuau. And the first email I got from them was basically said, hi, this is Eric, the sales manager of Kuau Action Cam, blah, 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 sorry about the problem. 
So in order to make you have a happier shopping experience, I can send a new action cam for free. It will be delivered by Amazon. You may re uh, receive it soon, or if you prefer to get back your money, we can also provide a full refund to you. Okay, that's all well and good, but I'd already sent the camera back to Amazon, so I replied as such, and I said, I said, under Amazon Prime, I already returned the camera, and I got my money back. This camera is not true 4K, and the EIS is useless. I took test footage at 4K and 1080p with the EIS turned on and off. The quality was terrible with bad jittering and jello, plus the 4K resolution exhibited heavy artifacting, which is probably because it's really being upscaled. All right, so then we go back, and now a couple days later, let's see, yeah, a couple days later, I get a reply from Kuao again. This time it says, Hi, we need re read the suggestions you made carefully, and we also pursued, perused, excuse me, your reviews on YouTube and Amazon. I'm sorry for your bad shopping experience. I will promptly give your feedback to our boss and engineering department. Thank you very much for your suggestion. I didn't make any suggestion other than they have a piece of shit camera. So in order to compensate you for your time and effort in using our camera, we sincerely offer you a $50 compensation. Okay, this is after I've already returned the camera. In addition, we will launch a new dual screen sports camera in three months we, with upgraded image quality as well as features. I sincerely invite you to test our new camera for free and give us your opinion for improvement. And I'm sorry for the inconvenience, blah, 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 Eric from Kuo. All right, so this is kind of typical. What a lot of these camera companies will do is they will seed the market with a whole bunch of cameras that they've given out there supposedly to verify buyers. But in reality, what's happening is the people buy them and they get immediately reimbursed for some ridiculous sum of money via PayPal or Stripe or whatever their preferred platform is for that kind of stuff or even Venmo. And what happens is that keeps that transaction off of Amazon. So now you have no way really of showing of Amazon going back and testing those reviews for compensation because the compensation is totally outside of Amazon. And this is part of my gripe. And, you know, it's just, I think, a bad state for reviews in general is that there's so many people out there that are absolutely willing to sacrifice their souls for a freebie. Your soul is mine. Even though they still may end up have paid 20 bucks for the camera with their $50 rebate or whatever the hell it was, they are still promoting a piece of crap product. And so what happens is that for maybe the 10 or 20 people that get their little rebate through PayPal, you probably have 100 or 200 or so people that are buying the camera at the price the vendor has set. And now they're not quite willing to admit that they got a piece of shit. So what's going to happen is that all of those good reviews stay up unless somebody actually starts challenging that stuff. And that's really difficult to do when you have a verified purchase and you have the reimbursement taking place through either some kind of an external coupon or it takes place directly with a payment via PayPal. So, you know, hey Eric, I want to tell you, you can take your 50 bucks and you can stuff it. I absolutely will not be a part of any of this kind of crap and I will just continue to evaluate products as I see them, as they come to me, and as I've paid for them. And the other thing that you're at risk too, if you take a free product for doing something like this, you are also at risk of getting a product that is something quite different than what they're actually selling, but it looks the same. Now, one of the things that should include that actually it did clue me in right away was when I opened the package for the Kuwao, and it was pretty cheesily packaged to begin with, and I pulled that little camera out of its waterproof case. I was like, 
whoa, that is super lightweight. And I just had a hard time believing that there was going to be any sort of stabilization, whether optical or real, you know, uh, gyroscope inside there. And I was going to have a hard time believing that they could cram all the electronics in there to uh, create a 4K camera. And I was absolutely right. They couldn't. It was super lightweight. It was probably 1080p and they upscaled it. Um, just to give you a reference point, um, this is a few years old. This is a Sukau, uh, Suku, sorry, Sukau, Suku, you know, Kuau, whatever. Anyway, this is a Suku camera. Now, this actually is a pretty decent little camera. So it was a C30, and it is legitimately 1080p, 20 frames per second. Um, has a lot of features. I actually end up using this more as a dash cam than I do anything else. But this camera has some weight to it. When you first pulled it, when I first got this, uh, it had a little bit of heft to it outside of the battery. So you know that there's something inside this camera. But with the Kuau, there wasn't anything in there. Uh, I didn't split it open, but you can feel that there's just not to have any sort of real electronics on the inside. So that's the end of the rant. Um, I hope that the next time that you go buy something on Amazon, that you take the time Look at the one star and two star reviews, assuming there are any, and analyze those reviews and see what the real problems were with the cameras because chances are the two stars and the one stars are going to be the guys that are actually giving you the true information about what's going on with a particular camera. Now, of course, you can ignore the people that just simply say, this was a piece of junk. I hate it. That doesn't help anybody. But the person who actually goes in there, like I did, and takes the time to look at the footage, to actually express their views on why the footage was bad, or why the camera was bad, or why the product was bad, that's the kind of person you need to listen to. Not all the fake five-star reviews not all the ones that are sitting there very early in the introduction phase of a camera, especially. That's the worst time to get reviews is when the camera has first been uh, put out. And another tip, too, on looking at reviews is that a lot of companies have figured out that they can substitute a quote-unquote new upgraded product for one that's already got five-star reviews on it. And then what they actually do when they put the new upgraded product in there is they downgrade the product and give you a totally cheap version. And this happens all the time with products that end up being sourced from Alibaba and somebody invents a name for them. They put their name on, say, a thousand units and they sell them after they've already seeded their particular uh seller channel they've already seeded it with say 25 or 30 units of an actually good quality product so realistically what you're getting is after they've gone through and they've gotten some legit five-star reviews now they throw the different quote-unquote upgraded product in there and what they're doing is they are hoping to sell a product that they paid instead of paying uh say 30 bucks a piece for now they're selling a product that they paid only five or six bucks a piece for it and they're trying to sell a thousand of them. So it's a good way for them, in theory anyway, to uh, make a quick, you know, four or five thousand dollars on a phony product. So anyway, that's the end of this. Uh, following this, you'll see a few clips of when I unboxed it and then I'll show you the actual footage that was taken. And I'm only going to show you the 4K and 1080p electronic image stabilization, the EIS footage, because I don't want to bother with you with all the other stuff I shot. It'll just drive you crazy. It's total garbage just as well. So that's it. And I hope you like what I've said here. And if you have, please click the like button. If you don't like it, please tell me why you don't like something like this. And let me know so that I can make these better for you in the future. That's it. 
See you next time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is try the 4K 30 frames per second with image stabilization turned on and now the distortion correction has to turn off so we're gonna get that fisheye view so here we go I'm gonna walk down Let's see I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can just walking I'm gonna turn around go back into the sun here All right, so the next mode I'm going to set this for is 1080p, 60 frames per second, image stabilization turned on. Same thing, we're just going to walk up the street. And as soon as we get deep into the shadows here, you can see whether or not the camera supports auto correction as well. And we'll move back heading straight into the sun